You know, women are very attuned with their bodies and their femininity. My name is Dr. Aldona Spiegel. When I see patients with breast cancer, it is a very challenging thing to have a patient who is grieving in a way through their early diagnosis. Being able to offer them hope where sometimes the breast looks even better than when we started is really fantastic. My name's Dr. Jeff Friedman. We have really gone from A to Z in my professional lifetime in achieving results for these patients. There would be no way for people to tell that this patient had even had an operation, no less whether or not they've had cancer in the past. My name is Sherry Lim. Usually at the six month visit, I usually ask him, how many of your friends have seen your results? Most of the time, the uh, patients are telling, oh yeah, all my girlfriends have seen these. They really want to show off how good they look. That puts a smile on my face. Nipple sparing mastectomy is a procedure that we perform for patients with breast cancer or BRCA1 or 2. This operation preserves all the skin and the nipple areolar complex while removing all the underlying breast tissue. Initially, most patients are more focused on the oncologic perspective of their cancer, but once the cancer scare and their treatment is over, they still have to look at themselves and feel good about themselves. The alternative years ago probably did keep people from seeking therapy at that particular time in their life because of the deforming nature of the operation. It is much easier for them to have a preventative mastectomy knowing that they will have a much more hidden scar and a much more natural result. They can look at themselves and still feel like a whole woman. Uh, working with the surgical oncologist is absolutely key. It is the most essential planning tool that we have. We try to do the nipple sparing mastectomy and, and, and the reconstruction at the same time. It gives the best cosmetic result if we're able to do it immediately after the mastectomy. Yes, you can wait until the final pathology is back, but we don't typically do that because then we're subjecting the patient to additional anesthesia, operative time, and potential risk. It is technically challenging, particularly for the surgeon doing the mastectomy. The more traditional operation for mastectomy is a very simple procedure because there's a large incision and visualization is not an issue. Whenever you perform either a skin sparing mastectomy or a nipple sparing mastectomy, the main issue is visualization. That's what makes the operation really, really challenging. You're working from a very limited uh, sort of exposure, so it's a little bit more challenging on the plastic surgery side. It's also more wonderful because we're not having to replace the external skin, and that really gives uh, much nicer and much more natural results. Everybody being on the same page is so important so that you do the right operation at the right time for the best long-term result. I think that our relationship evolved because we both have the same interest in doing what's best for patients. We have led the effort to do this in a lot of our patients. We had a patient who looked for two months for a surgeon who would do this operation. She was told that there was nobody who could perform this operation on her. She couldn't be happier. And she kept saying, you need to tell other people that you could do this. We're constantly raising the bar and trying to make it better for our patients. We can provide a certain quality or level of care to patients that five years ago was not considered possible. And we believe we have led medicine, and I think we've done a very good job at doing that.